Are you fertilizing the grass, Ellie, yet? Yeah. Good job. All right, guys, this is something to laugh about. Got my Jeep out of the garage. Got the winch out. Got a snatch block set up. I was hoping to make this a little shorter, but we'll see how this goes. Snatch block so that I can try to get it. I mean, unfortunately, it's gonna be more like that. Try to get the straightest run possible so that I can haul this workbench from down here. And you know, I'd rather try to work smarter than harder. This thing is extremely heavy. I mean, it is extremely heavy. Really well built, all metal. Nice drawers, super, super nice tabletop. Anyways, got my Jeep set up up there. Got a snatch block for those of you guys that don't know what a snatch block is. It, without the snatch block, I'd basically be pulling straight from my Jeep this angle and then the cord here, the wire rope, whatever, winch cable would be rubbing against that. Not that I really care about that, but the trouble is, is once my table starts going up here, it's going to start just rubbing against this. And I don't really want that as much as I can help it. So what I did was add that snatch block, hopefully straighten out this cable a bit more. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just gonna attach this Factor 55 Pro Link uh, to this table somewhere here on the bottom so that I'm pulling up on the table instead of down. And we'll start winching this pile up. Hopefully it's gonna work out. All right, so like I said, you know, got the snatch block set up. Obviously this is extremely worthless. The way that it's set up here. <laughs> Cause I wanted that cord to be like right over there. Um, maybe I can throw my snatch on this. Cause I mean, really it doesn't need to be extremely strong. I'll try that and we'll see what happens. Try this one more time. Got that puppy set up right there. Got the Jeep right there. Got the snatch block on this post that is basically worthless. Like I knew it would be, but hopefully it's buried down low enough that it's gonna help me out. And uh, at this point, yeah, buddy, let's go, let's get it. I mean, bro. I'm just being nice and gentle on that little hook. Man, we are doing work here though. Let me tell ya. Oh shoot. Got my drawer opening on me, man. Oh, come on, boys. Yeah, so I have to set this puppy down somehow. So as you can see, we just winched this puppy from down there. It's got those big heavy casters, so it actually rolls pretty good. This, this post is holding up about as, be, as good as I thought it was going to. And we almost got it winched up the hill. So anyway, it's gonna cut it right here and I'll show you guys once it's up at the top. Let's get it, let's go. Yeah, buddy. All right, so that went extremely smooth. I mean, we're, we're at the very last second here. <laughs> uh, I went ahead and I took the fair lead off, which surprisingly it held the whole entire time. You can just push this puppy right back there. It's there for absolutely nothing, to be honest. And uh, finish this puppy up.
Anyways, there she is. Got her dragged up, extremely easy. <laughs> Had to get the Jeep started and charge up my batteries anyways, so took advantage of the purdy weather. Now, I think I'm going to expire this table here. I think that the table over there is actually not as wide as this thing. I hope, maybe. So I'm going to take it and shove it over here and take this thing to the dump. But another job well done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep an eye out for another video. Think about subscribing for some more enjoyable content. But yeah, dude, this table is super boss. Believe it or not, before I put a little bar kitchenette or whatever downstairs in our house, I bought this just to have like a work service to like throw the coffee machine on and stuff. So if it's nice enough for that, it'll definitely be nice enough for my garage, but super thick, nice metal, whatever. Nice casters. Let's go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's been a minute since I've driven this bucket. <laughs> This weekend I should be getting out into the wilderness with this thing first time and I don't know how long with another buddy of mine. Uh, so we'll see. See what kind of footage I capture of the Jeep. Just driving through the forest. <laughs> Maybe doing a couple trails or something. But yeah. Anyways, got the table in the garage. It's been a while since I've driven this thing, at least two weeks minimum, so uh, might as well get the batteries charged again. I'm gonna go grab a coffee, then I'm gonna come back and prepare that area.